Push for a change in a town noise ordinance falling flat in Wallingford tonight. The town council tabling a move by Thurston Foods to be exempt from current noise regulations. Neighbors have been complaining about the noise from the property. They say it exceeds acceptable levels. News 8's Jackie Slater is live in News 8 Control with more on this. Jackie? And Thurston Foods has operated from this site since 1990, well before these homes were built nearby. At a town council meeting tonight, the big message from concerned residents was the town allowed construction of the homes, even though Thurston Foods reminded them they are a noisy operation, and with business growing, it would most likely get even louder. And the street involved in this controversy is paid in court, and it's really the homes at the end of the cul-de-sac that get hit with the brunt of the noise. Homeowners say the noise level has been rising and is far worse in the overnight hours when they're trying to sleep. Noise from refrigeration units and trucks and delivery trucks is overwhelming. Thurston Foods is subject to fines for violating the noise standards. They ask the council to amend the regulations so they can continue to operate as they see necessary. Tonight, the council did not vote on the amendment but passed a motion to engage in conversation with the mayor about possible solutions to the problem. And I think what happened tonight was a good thing because it gives us, it gives the council an opportunity to step back. It, it also allowed us as a council to, to say to, you know, the administration, hey, mayor, you know, we'd like you to approach them to see if there's a, a, an additional alternative. One possible solution proposed is to build a sound barrier wall. But tonight, the big question and debate was, would it really work and who will pay for it? Early estimates show a wall would cost anywhere from $500,000 to $800,000. And because it is a private property, many on the council feel the town should not contribute to that wall in any way. And so for now, no action has been taken. Thurston will continue to operate and homeowners will have to continue to tolerate the mayor agreed to have discussions about the issue, but says it is budget season, so those meetings might not take place until as late as this May, as he, a lot on his, he has a lot on his plate right now. Live in News 8 Control, Jackie Slater, News 8.